If you're looking for an additional revenue stream for your MSP, this is the video for you. Now, this is something I have never talked about in the past and something the reason why is because I had a lot of material to cover. But now I think it's time that I unveil to you one of my secret revenue growing kind of niches slash things to upsell that is going to put more of this in your pocket. Before I get into today's video, my name is Harrison Barron from growth Dash generators com. We help MSPs with sales training and marketing. Before I get into it, as always, I got to mention my two quick things. Number one is there's the masterclass down below. There's also a bunch of other helpful links down below. I would highly recommend you go check it out. A lot of benefit there and some of my most popular videos. And then two, come join the free discord. It is rapidly growing. It is crazy. And people are closing deals. I do some free trainings in there. I go and hang out and answer some live Q and A's. It's a cool spot. It's a nice little value add. And if you're struggling or you just want to help the community out, it's a great little place for you to come hang out with other like-minded individuals. What more can you ask for? So let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video. I have talked quite a bit in the past about adding reoccurring revenue to your business. That is money coming in month after month, year after year to ultimately grow your business. It's the reason why most people start an MSP because this every single month is fantastic. So what is another way? Now in the past, I have talked about obviously your services, cybersecurity services and all of that. And then as a nice little bonus to add is voice over IP. It's fantastic there. I like ring central. You could use whatever provider that you want, but it is slept on in the MSP world. But now there's another kind of avenue that MSPs can realistically go through. And there's a very specific reason why I'm recommending this, which I will get through in this video. But most MSPs are going to provide their service help desk. They're going to potentially get involved in voice. And then they have kind of a different, they can either get involved in printing, which uh, this handy dandy little um, bookshelf is my printer or my imaginary printer. And some companies like to go through and provide printing services. Now, selling ink like a newspaper person where, you know, you get an ink cartridge and you get an ink cartridge is fantastic. But big old but. Not everybody wants to do that, or you're already doing that and you're looking, you're watching this video because you're like, Harrison, I need another source of revenue. And that is a the security area. There is so much untapped revenue for MSPs in the security space. Now I'm not talking, you gotta go out there with a badge and be security for somebody else. But for the most part, most businesses, especially in the commercial spaces, have two things, one, cameras, as I'm pointing up into an area of my ceiling that you absolutely cannot see. And two, the little fobs to scan in on doors. Heck, you've probably been on both. Actually, I'd probably find it hard to believe that you haven't been on a camera in your life. And the second part is, I'd find it hard to believe you haven't had some kind of fob to get into a server closet, eh, private access areas, restricted areas, whatever it may be. But there is an entire industry that is completely untapped by MSPs. And it is seriously antiquated. There's a lot of really smart people in the industry, but cameras and access control is gold. Technically, it's called video surveillance and access control. Now, how do you actually go sell this? Because you're probably like, Harrison, there's no way on God's green earth I'm getting on a scissor lift and getting to a 30 high foot uh, ceiling and I'm gonna go strap a camera up to so my people can see that. Totally agree, you don't have to do that. But what you can do is what you're really, really good at. And that's the tech side of it. Because you're probably already managing their server, their network switch, their ser basically anything in the server closet, router, your firewall, the whole nine. But you're also dealing with potentially their cloud. And because of that, it kind of makes this weird, perfect concoction of something that you probably had to get involved with, with at some point or another. And that's video surveillance because now most video cameras are IP cameras and most access control is a, they use data cables for it. In all honesty, the access control device rarely does all the thinking, but it goes back to uh, a network closet and then gets maintained and managed there. So MSPs are in this really weird, have this like really weird opportunity 
where they can tie all of this together, manage it under one roof, and sell it every single month to make reoccurring revenue month after month after month. And there is a specific technology that I think is absolutely slept on. And you're welcome to go do your own homework for other companies and other brands. This is just the one that I think is truly, truly the best. Now, full transparency, I have worked with this company before. I don't want anyone to think that I haven't or you do any homework and you consider me a liar. I'm all about transparency. I'm all about being authentic. I have worked with this company before. It is a fantastic product and easily the best one on the market. So I'm gonna share my screen here and we're gonna go through it. So the software is called Cumulex. You may have seen me mention it in a previous video in the past as well, but it is unified cloud video surveillance and access control on one platform, meaning just like your Unify, your Meraki, it's on a, basically a single pane of glass. It's one portal that you get to go through and manage all of these. And the nice part about it is the MSP people, you guys, because I'm the sales and marketing guy, are super smart. And you can start to make all of this work. And not only make it all work, but have it be a, an area where you can start to charge month after month and start to acquire that reoccurring revenue. And by the way, somebody yelled at me the way I said recurring and reoccurring. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Okay. I say reoccurring. You could say recurring. I'm not an English major. I teach people how to make money. Leave me alone. Recurring, reoccurring. It does not matter in my eyes. So it's a really, really cool platform. You can set it up in here. You can kind of see that it says, you know, live timeline, search places, clips, reports. There's quite a bit of functionality in here. And the cool part is, is for the most part, every commercial building around you has some level of cameras. Now, some of them might have some super serious cameras. Some of them might have like a little ring camera system. This is not for the companies that have ring camera systems, but this is for just about everybody else. Schools, jails, warehouses, commercial buildings, anything like that they're probably getting involved in. And the cool part is, is it really works across every single vertical. So if you're like, Harrison, I only focus on doctor's offices. Well, guess what? You don't want an employee stealing paperwork or stealing documents from the doctor's office. So you're going to have to set up a camera. This is the system that ties the camera in to let you know, hey, something's going on. And the nice part is it's all in the cloud. It is little hardware on the customer's end, but it is accessible 24-7, 365 through this demonic little device that is always in our pockets. So let's talk a little bit about it. It ties in both your video cameras and your access control to cover and manage quite a bit. You have anti-lock-in, meaning you can just kind of leave. You can use all of the softwares that you choose to use, or better yet, the hardware that you choose to use. You can make, for the most part, all of it work together. It has a fantastic experience, meaning a progressive web app. You can use this on your phone, on any internet accessible tablet, your computers, you can have TVs set up with the all these cameras on it and it is just it works flawlessly it snaps to just about I shouldn't even say just about it snaps to every screen it's a really really nice interface they've spent a tremendous amount of time looking it over and making sure it's as fantastic as possible and depending on how many cameras you have or what kind of cameras you have you can set up different views which I in my opinion is fantastic and then you have the search function and there's a whole bunch of functions and features in this this is not the video to go over how fantastic every little function and feature is it's me bringing you awareness to it but you have motion analytics access control events and more you can get notified via text message via email you can get notified however you decide you can set up what actually notifies you it's a really 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 cool platform there's a lot that goes into this but the nice part is is it's very minimal hardware that has to go on site obviously you're going to have cameras and you're going to have the access control but for the most part there's really nothing else you need a little bit of their hardware but it's not like hey you know i need 12 switches installed you might need to to set up the cameras but like after that it's kind of done and the nice part is is you get to sell that license and make that margin every single either month year however you decide to bill it out to your clients and it makes life really easy for you because once you set it up it's like that old commercial, set it and forget it. If you remember those rotisserie chickens, but I know it sounds kind of crazy because you're like, Harrison, how is that possible? It's got a fantastic user interface. As long as you as the MSP can make everything work the way the customer wants it. After that, you just have to make sure that the system's up and running, which it will be because it's a fairly large company and they're consistently growing 
month after month after month. So it's not like you have to sit there and worry about like, oh, what's going on? Do I have to check these backups? Like, no, as long as the customer's happy and they can get in, you're good to go. They, you set it up one time and you get to walk away from it and the customer can set up any additional things or you can set up for the customer any additional things that they want access to different things. It has another really cool feature, which I think is super cool, especially coming from a fire department background, is a lockdown feature. Hey, something's going on in the building. You can lock down the whole building and isolate the threat or the problem, whatever it might be, which in my opinion is worth its weight in gold. Coming from somebody who had a house fire and having that peace of mind to always be monitoring when you're away from your home is genuinely the best peace of mind you can possibly have. And we talk a lot about that in this channel. So I'm not saying you need to go buy it, but go check it out. If you're interested in it, go reach out to them. Mention that I, I sent you over. They're absolutely going to love you. They might even hook you up with some extra stuff, but shh, I didn't say that. Uh, that's an off the record type thing, but let them know. Honestly, it's a completely untapped industry and it is the easiest thing because you don't have to get involved with like the guard stands going up and down and crazy stuff in the security industry. It's the first barrier to entry into learning an entirely new space and you already have the technical skills to get involved with it. It's not like you're learning something new. Cameras and access control is super simple when it comes to that kind of stuff. And you are definitely smart enough to get involved in it and start making that monthly recurring revenue. All right, my tomato, tomato people. That's it. That's all I got for you guys. Go check it out. Let them know I sent you. There's a ton on their website. I mean, I can run through their website pretty quickly here. You have QX control. That's the control platform you can see. When things have happened, triggers, events, you can take a look at it. It's modern, clean interface. It's super, super easy. You can see what events have triggered, how they triggered, anything like that. And then the coolest part is search and playback. So if something happened, hey, what's going on? When did it happen? And being able to search and find it very, very quickly. You have some cool analytics too. As you can see here, the person somewhere where they're not supposed to be, this car, shouldn't be in the parking lot or so that just shouldn't happen. And they also are starting to integrate with a bunch of other softwares across there. So the, the fact that things are like that are happening just brings you more recurring revenue every single month. It's the easiest, easiest upsell. They have some case studies here. And if you want to, they have a try Q Cumulex now. I almost said QX. Try Cumulex now. It's QX control. Go fill out the information. Once again, tell them I sent you. They're going to love the heck out of you guys. And I appreciate you checking out this video because I think a lot of MSPs kind of think if it's not a computer or server or network closet, they shouldn't get involved. And this is the first step out of your comfort zone to end up making you some additional, in this case, movie prop money. I love the heck out of you guys. I appreciate the heck out of you guys for checking out this video. I've done a lot of talking today, but I'll give you one moment really quick to uh, hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell. And if there's another platform or service that you think that I should have mentioned instead of Cumulex, I'd love to hear it down in the comments below. Or if you already work with them, what do you love? What do you not love? I'd love the feedback. Love the heck out of you guys. As always, I appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.